what's this? What's this? Makai Becton is going to start taking snaps at right tackle? That's impossible. There's no way he could play right tackle. He hasn't taken any reps at right tackle for the whole camp. Oh, wait. Wait. Isn't there about a month of camp left? Wasn't the whole purpose of Makai Becton, his playing time, to ramp him up and get him back in football shape? To get him more confident in his knee? Did it matter that he wasn't taking reps at right tackle? Wasn't the whole point right now just to give him confidence? Isn't Dwayne Brown not on the team playing right now? Doesn't it make sense that Becton would play left tackle in case Brown doesn't come back? Or if Brown gets hurt during the year? And knowing that Brown is going to come back? And that Turner and Mitchell are both clearly not ready to play right tackle? It was never too late to move Becton over to that side, and Salah finally confirmed that that's what they're going to do. You don't switch ABT to the outside and keep Brown when he comes back at left tackle and keep Becton on the bench. It never made sense. If Becton is healthy and stays healthy, and if Dwayne Brown comes back for game one, this is your starting offensive line. Dwayne Brown, Lincoln Tomlinson, Tipman, that's right, I said it, AVT and Becton. And guess what? The disaster that is our offensive line looks nothing like that right now. That team in practice looks nothing like that. What right now we should be upset about, what right now the reality is with our offensive line is that Mitchell was heavily impacted by his health issues. It's very clear. He's nothing like he was last year, but that doesn't mean he won't get back to normal eventually. It's just a matter of when. Bad news for us. Turner is garbage. I said it right now. I'm sorry. He's just done. I don't know why we were able to get him in the first place for not a lot of money. Why? Why didn't other teams swoop in? Why wasn't it a bidding war? Lots of teams need depth at offensive tackle because he's not very good, people. He's not very good. I made excuses for him. I want him to be good. I, I just don't see it. He's, he's not even, I mean, it's, he's completely ineffective and he doesn't have an excuse. So, I don't know what to tell you there. So, of course, Becton was going to take snaps at right tackle. I've been screaming it. And it's finally going to happen. I feel great about it. I feel great that Becton is now ready to move over and start working it at that position. Um, he's still our backup left tackle if Brown gets hurt. I have no question if Brown gets hurt, they're going to swing Becton over to that side. And if we don't see an improvement from Mitchell or Turner... You might have to move AVT out to the right side, but that's our backup plan. If Becton was to get hurt, again, you can move AVT outside and McGovern at guard alongside Tipman. It's, it's, so we have some depth. We have what's obvious to me, what I think and believe very heavily is going to be the plan. But big move for the New York Jets. Our starting five looks like they finally figured out what our best starting five is. And there is no question in my mind when healthy, that starting five is what I just named. And I will say it right now, yes, Tittman is better than McGovern. He is. And it'll be very disappointing if, it's, if there's anything real to the fact that Rodgers gets to pick the center he wants because of their experience. When we could see on film that Tittman is clearly better, and I think Rodgers wants a Super Bowl, and he's going to say, give the job to the better player. And Tittman goes out to the second level like I've never seen McGovern do. Tittman is moving guys five yards, like turning them and pushing them out of the way. Along with AVT and Becton, can you imagine how the right side is going to be for our running back room this season? And Aaron Rodgers keeping the defense honest because you can't stack the box when you got Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson and Lazard and Corey Davis and McCall Hardman and Conklin, and CJ, and Rucker. The weapons just don't stop. Go Jets!